we just loaded a torpedo, by the way, which I'm sure will be very important and useful later on. Uh, I'm not sure why playing uh, dice crabs with an old man for half an hour had anything to do with that, but I'm sure it'll be become very apparent um, as the plot goes on. <laughs> I've, I've covered enough, Neil. I think we've, I think we've, um, I think we've covered everything we need to do. Nice. So nice. we got the electronic device from old man, old, old dirty the, old man. Uh, random electronic device that can neutralize magnetic fields. Yes, it's a very random device. Like it's, <laughs> it's, it's not often used. <laughs> Sorry, I, I like my background is electrical engineering, so. I go through the physics of my head and technology of what it would actually take to neutralise the magnetic field using just a random electronic device. <laughs> and like everything you said there is the wrong answer, isn't it's, it? Really, <laughs> it, it's pure the neutrinos are mutating. Yes, kind of stuff. I was like, oh, I know how to neutralise a magnetic device. I know how to neutralise a magnetic field. I unplug it. <laughs> that's that's what we'll do with the KGB story. We'll switch it off and on again. Let's just switch it off. Hey, work for the board, but work for us. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> They're practically the same. Fuck it, yeah. Man. If anything, it's just the best. Yes. Okay. I fear this cake is really empty, Neil. <laughs> if you tilt it towards you, it does, like... Yes, I, I, I am sorry. There's still quite... It's it's unfortunate, like, when there's quite a bit in it, mm. it'll, it'll just trickle out for a while, because the gas runs out. I was about to say, the gas is kind of... The gas, sense, the yes. gas, the, the ratio of gas to drink <laughs> is not the best. So, like, towards the end, like, you're still getting pints out of it, mm. but you're going to have to wait for it. Sure, look at we appreciate, we appreciate your business, rascals. I don't know. No, you kept us going through a very long serious. lockdown. I got the happy days. I got, I've got like three empties of the happy days out my back garden. I have a Fridopolis oh, myself. Yes. yes. Um, We'd appreciate if you brought out more kegs. Because we need it. More yeah. kegs? Bigger kegs. Bigger kegs, yes. Oh, damn, this is good. It's the nice, isn't it? The fruity, the fruity um, galaxy hops. Mm, yeah. Yeah. Mm, 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 mm. See, that's what even plugging is as well. Like, you really should be sponsoring at this point, you know? <laughs> we have a football podcast that really does need a sponsor. And, yeah. You know, I mean, Liquid's in the name. Like, come on, lads, get in touch. Um, <laughs> yeah, so that's... that's um, so now we're turning around Alaska, by the way. This is the next part of the gameplay. This year, we've gone, like, right, fix the thing. Crabs. Alaska. I assure you, some spy stuff will happen maybe towards the end. I don't know. <laughs> Not guaranteed. Uh, see when they re-released Crisis. I have they. Yeah. Oh. For like the RTX generation. Ah no, that's unfair on the RTX. Yeah. <laughs> so I, they, oh yeah, wow! They've really done it. <laughs> they've gone and do, done it to them. They've gone and redone the the Crisis. I think it's the fourth one they put out. I can only be the first one because the first one was just a, a ta- like just taunting computers. It was like it really was. Like I, I remember playing it on my lap because I had a gaming laptop. I remember. Play- oh look, we're being replaced! Oh yeah, the CIA commander is now being replaced by fucking Ensign Ricky to take over for our <laughs> helm control. Isn't that nice? Go for it, red shirt. Nah, crap. <laughs> oh, we're gonna go over the bridge and everything. And even animated him climbing up a ladder, Neil. Oh, that's sexy. That's some bridge. <laughs> now, this is worth the wait, lads. Has he gotten out of the ship? I always thought submarines had a particular device. Peri- like that enabled <laughs> Oh, yeah, do you mean the uh, periscope? The periscope! Yeah, it went terribly out of fashion yeah. during the 80s wasn't sexy enough. <laughs> this is pure sex. I will say, actually, I love the music in this game. It's really groovy. When it is there, like... Yeah, it's not looking good, because there's a frigate there, and we've fucking... We've topped the water, you dickhead. <laughs> so we're fucking... Literally a sitting gigantic metal duck. Like, lads, honestly, <laughs> this, this is waiting for a synthwave remix. This is fucking... <laughs> this, this is water fucking... It actually looks like you're about to ride the captain. Well, Two Russian right warships. Oh, nice. Some actual naval combat, Neil. Oh, <laughs> the captain falls! He <laughs> fell. In, in, in his excitement, he fell. <laughs> do you know why that is? Because now we don't get any guidance. We had to do this ourselves. That's why. That is embarrassing. 
How does the captain of a submarine fall off a ladder? He literally has been doing this for 30 years. He had to climb up the ladder. <laughs> so now you're in command of the submarine. And piloting it. <laughs> no. Oh. Not how it works. <laughs> oh, like, it's weird to see somebody who takes like real serious... Oh, um, no. Real serious... A real serious approach to their save games. I hate Here's it. Ours are just like dick butt. <laughs> <laughs> they just try to. F- How many times can we fit the word cunt into our save games? <laughs> nice know. to see you. To see you, cunt. Russian destroyer. Eighteen eighty yards. If you notice how we have a uh, we have a rocket on our screen now because we could potentially hit a rocket. Mm-hmm. We are pretty much now just about to play battleships. This is a lot of text to explain completely nothing. <laughs> um, so I'm right in saying I think we have to get the black and the red ships aligned so that we can actually fire a shot at them. Oh, the black is us. Yeah, the black is us and the red is the Ruskies. Yeah. And we presumably launched a torpedo at them. Single fish coming. Yeah, they've launched a torpedo at us. Yes. So it's 16,000 yards away. Fucking hell. So this is us uh, going deeper to dodge it, presumably. Yeah, so we've now got two. Because the death is the one that's flashing there at the top right. We're going deeper and deeper. Down, down, deeper and down, indeed. <laughs> so essentially because like, we, we, we've... Uh, We've had our brief. We've had our tutorials on how to steer and move a ship. Clearly, we're ready to take on the Russians. Yes. In any context. I just wonder what a fucking dick move it is, by the way, for the captain to fall over. <laughs> like honestly, like, I hope he doesn't. I hope he doesn't get a fucking head. That's like four of them now, Otis. Yeah, yeah. So there's four. <laughs> there's just fill the water with death. <laughs> <laughs> oh no! How are we going to dodge them? Can we go even deeper? Yes. We've got to go down to the fucking centre of the earth. But Neil, it's That's another one, that's five. But fucking Neil, hell. But Neil, it's half ten. We we need to be in, in Tunisia <laughs> for seven. <laughs> and the prom is tomorrow! I can't, I can't fucking miss this appointment. Well, they've lodged five torpedoes at us. Yes. We're fucked. <laughs> why, did, why were you late? Ah, oh, there we go. Look, there's another thing on the, on the thing. Sorry, make five fish on the way. Right. No need to use the word fish. I know they're not actually fish. Yes, it's a metaphor. <laughs> there's no need for a metaphor. There's actual word. <laughs> I love that. It's just like, why were you late for your uh, for your briefing in Tunisia? Well, the front fell off. The front fell off. Yes, we were hit by a torpedo. Oh, there's six of them now. Yeah, and a dog thing as well, controversially. So basically, we've just been steaming towards this <laughs> fucking torpedo. Yes. And there's no ticket on. We're charging towards them, essentially. Well, we're also going deeper and deeper underwater. Mm-hmm. I believe. <laughs> Can you stop doing that? It's very rude to do it under the microphone. She's just puking on her carpet. No, she's fine. Airlock. What? Right. 1,200 yards away from the nearest torpedo. It's all very exciting, isn't it? Do you know what? I think we should go deeper underwater, Neil. <laughs> I mean, like, 690 feet is nice, but I'd rather go the full 700. Mm-hmm. So, ooh, impact imminent at 200 yards. <laughs> impact imminent with dog and Pringles. Yeah, that's sure. That was much closer than 200 yards. Mm-hmm. Fucker isn't even socially distancing the... F- Oh, there's four now. So we've dodged two. We dodged two, yeah. Turns out we're actually quite deep down. You know, the rockets can't, like, just penetrate the deep water. It gets eaten by uh, glowfish. The thing about this, right, is I'm not sure. Like, if the designers went, right, you know, naval battles with between, like, warships and submarines. Mm. How can we make that more boring? They have actually taken the entire tension out of a naval battle. I'm not a even tense, remotely tense USSR versus United States. Well, given Cold that it War started stance. when they were fucking twenty thousand yards away, 
by, the, by their reckoning, you know, that's not me making an exaggeration. They were literally twenty thousand yeah. yards away. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, what the fuck, like, like that is actually really sad to think about. Like, admittedly, like there could be. So what the fuck are we doing, right? Are we just gonna like dodge all their torpedoes until like they run out of ammo? I guess so. And then I we can think go. that <laughs> I'm guessing the whole idea is that basically just like just sub past them, just like just dodge the whole lot completely. Yeah. Like, I don't know if that's the right strategy or not, or if that's what actually, like, submarines do. But, I don't know, man, it's fucking... Like, we've got torpedoes as well. Why can't we fire back? I have no idea. I, again, I say that because, like, I, I, I kind of didn't watch this part of the playthrough. I just let it record away. So this is new, new to me as well. And legitimately, I don't get the whole point of this. Like, I, I presume you could easily just, like, dodge your way through this, but... Like, this kind of strikes to me like a Final Fantasy battle. Like, you have to get through it. <laughs> da, 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 da. <laughs> Fucking uh, Tifa Lockhart on uh, yeah. Tactical. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. She just vaults out of a hatch and punches the warship out of the water. Yes. She will make the Russians submit by sitting on them. Because yeah, they that sort of thing. Yeah, yeah. You know. Oh, you've it's, seen it's, that, it's, it's you've seen that version. Yes. <laughs> The sex team deal. Yeah, it's the real 34. Yes. 32. Oh, the torpedo missed. Good. <laughs> but like the, other, to. the previous nine. Oh, but look, see, Neil, we're on the attack now. We're, we're coming out of the water now. How many torpedoes does that fucking destroyer have? Good. Can we attack, please? 5,000 yards. If we end up doing all of this and then end up our own torpedo missing. <laughs> fucking hell, like. Why is he using the word torpedo now? He's using fish earlier on. Because in, a, in the heights of battle, Neil, what's easier to say? <laughs> fish or torpedo? I know what I'd rather say. Ah, oh, we've got it. Oh, we have a tar. Oh, shit. We have a torpedo on the way. Boom. Oh, we're going for it. Like, holy shit. Nice. Oh, we're we're fucking a murder. murder. Man, a death on that. Oh, we can even <laughs> choose our torpedoes. Oh, with a decoy. Oh, shit. nice. Again, this is really cool gameplay. Why didn't you? Why did you make it so dull? Literally, the whole gameplay was like dive underneath, wait for the torpedoes to pass, pop up and hit the cunts. <clears throat> God bless America. Salute the flag. Two extra points. Two points. Two points. And if I'm not mistaken, there's another destroyer. Yeah, no, so we have two, to do this again. There's two warships. Yeah. Christ, on a bike. Oh, coast is clear. Oh, they have it now. We hit them both. And we have coded messages. <gasps> Excellent. If the gameplay hasn't been sexy enough as it is, sexy. Neil, I think um, the dog is trying to get your attention there. Where's the ball? Where's the ball? Is that it? Oh, no, not a ball. That's a dog. That's a dog toy that both uh, my new dog and my old dog have both shared. <laughs> even though they've never met each other. Quite cute in a way. Entry! <laughs> oh, fire That's that. where our missiles were, though. Mm-hmm. Another thing there was is that the button just said, Empty. You're gay. Well, that's our work done. We just killed the whole of the Russians. <laughs> off the bat. Now we're just going to shake the comms officer until we get coded messages. The radio jock. Radio jock, eh? Radio man. Sends you a message from Naval High Command in Washington. Washington. Washington codes are. Oh, more code keys. I love it. Yes. So now we have to do this again. Yeah. <laughs> this whole decoding nonsense to find out what we do next, which is go to Tunisia. <laughs> And we will act surprised when we have to go to Tunisia. I was about to say that. Weren't we told initially where to go? Yes. <laughs> I don't see why we need more coded messages. How are things going? Cool, bro. We just hit Russians. <laughs> awesome. Do more. Get good. Leg- legitimately, you've never seen naval combat, submarine subterfuge, coded messages... 
and banging a woman done so banal. Oh. And made it look so mundane. Maybe that's what they're going for. The fact that this guy is so cool. This is just like literally like a Tuesdays for him. <laughs> and the other code book that we got last time. Mm-hmm. Coupled with the fact that like we have to do this as well. Uh, to have the manual on hand and read a chapter and verse. 